God is moving into your father's house. From wherever you're watching me right now, I am declaring on this altar of possibility. I want you to begin to comment, Amen. I receive. As I begin to pray now, begin to connect your heart, connect your soul, connect your body, connect your father's house, connect everything about you right on this very altar of prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy upon these people that are watching right now, wherever you are, I speak to your father's house that whatever it has collected on your behalf, whatever the foundation of your life has connected, whatever the foundation of your family has collected or connected or has inside of it, in this very hour of prayer, I decree and I declare that those things begin to uproot right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the power of possibility upon your life, upon your family, upon your children, upon your generation, upon your foundation, upon your destiny, upon your career, upon your home, upon your father's house, upon everything that consigns you right now. I command that whatever thy father's house has collected, whatever that been buried right there in thy father's house, that I've been making you each time you climb up, they pull you down. Each time you try to succeed, they pull you down. Each time the good things about to come, they stop you from getting there. Whatever covenant that have been entered, covenant of destruction, covenant of short life, covenant of sickness, covenant of pains, covenant of limitations, covenant of spiritual husband, covenant of spiritual wife, covenant of any kind that is working against you, covenant of sickness, terminal disease, whatever they have shot as an arrow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right on this altar of possibility, I promise ah, the power of the possibility, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Lord Jesus to look at you right now in thy foundation, in thy father's house, in thy destiny to begin to pull you out, to begin to change that name, whatever name that you are bearing, whatever covenant you have, whatever relationship that you have with water, whatever relationship that you have with animals, whatever relationship that you have with the trees, whatever relationship that you have with the soil, whatever relationship that we have with the kingdom of darkness, every set agenda in your life I prophesy the power of possibility to begin to pull you out that foundation that has been laid negatively that is working against your destiny that is limiting your light and limiting your glory the Lord pull you out 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 every one of you that comment and connect right on this altar this year 2023 your life is not going to remain the same your family is not going to remain the same. Your destiny is not going to remain the same. It is time for total turn around. It is time for total pulling out that the Lord Jesus may step in into your foundation and pull you out. Pull your family out. Pull your children out. Pull everybody there out. Pull your generation out. Pull your children out. Pull your destiny out. Pull your career out. Pull your star out. Pull out everything that concerns you. Whatever they have taken in their covenant, in their kingdom, in their marriage world, or whatever word, wherever they are holding your destiny, holding your star, the Lord pull you out. The Lord pull you out. The Lord pull you out. The Lord pull you out from those charms, from those demons, from those idols, from those covenant. The Lord pull you out. The Lord pull you out. Not only pulling you out, but to pull you and your destiny and the entire family. Pull you out in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, this is stage one. I am entering into stage two. And I will enter stage three. Today, today, I am entering different, different level of your deliverance. And I want you to know that right now, as I'm praying right now, in the wizard coven, in the witch's coven, in the kingdom of darkness, right there in the altar of destruction in your father's house, whatever evil altar, as I'm praying for you now, something is happening there. And all of you, some of you that have been coming from such families, will begin to experience a turnaround that begin to see the dreams. You begin to see what is called the battles in the realm of the spirit. Somebody is here every time there's a snake that is coming to fight with you. And each time you want to trace this snake, 
you are seeing it right there in your village and this thing is a spiritual covenant that connects you you people are connected to snake spirit and when i look at the snake spirit i'm seeing what's called a serpentine spirit the lord is cutting it off from you today today will be the end in the name of jesus and some of you have what's called a spiritual husband and spiritual wives and this spiritual husband and spiritual wife does not allow you to sleep does not allow you to have rest every time they are coming spiritually to manipulate you today the lord is bringing the sword of the spirit to cut them off from your side you will no longer have such a dream you will no longer have such a manipulation that very relationship in the realm of the spirit the lord is cutting them off right now as i'm about to enter into the stage two now look at what i'm going to tell you now wherever you are i want to draw your mind back to when you were a little boy remember when you were a little girl remember when you were born when you were in primary school remember when you were trying to go to school remember when you were trying to become somebody in life at the age of five the age of three at the age of two if in some cases some of you may remember the age of two three four five six seven eight nine ten even before the age of twelve you remember where you have used to be the the village and the places the settings you remember the house you people were living before better in the city or anywhere or where you were born that is why i'm asking the question say where were you born that place where you were born what happened the day you were born who are the people that normally come to your father's house some people are suffering what they're suffering today as a result of somebody that normally visit them there are people that are called the agents of darkness as you have seen the major prophet of God being used by God to help the people of God the same way Satan has people that he's using to destroy and these people they are using to destroy don't even care who you are they don't want to know about you they don't even care whether your children or whatever you go to church or not but as long as they have access to come to you or to come to your house there are evil plantations that many of them are planting on those your children. It is time for you to now begin to mention the name of your children on this very broadcast. As I'm praying right now, you put in your name, put in the name of your family, begin to put it there right now or straight away to the WhatsApp number. Anyone you can put in the name and also right away, God is stepping in to change things. God is stepping in to break the yoke. God is stepping in to set the fire. God is stepping in to pull your family out. God is stepping in to bring a deliverance. God is stepping in to end uh, the satanic hegemony. Every hegemony, every hegemony, every strategy that the devil has been using against you and your family. In this course of this prayer, the Lord is coming upon you and your family to deliver, to deliver, to liberate and to set free that evil altar in your father's house that every time you remember, your head swell up. Some cases you remember it in a dream, your head swell up. Sometimes you remember, sometimes that normally occur to your body at the end of the month something occur to your body at the end of the month something occur you see your leg the way your leg begin to look sometimes sometimes your eyes begin to change red you are trying to know what is causing the eye becoming red and you trace it go to hospital and they found nothing but you don't know that it was the blood that was shared even before you were born that they have covenant you into it some people are covenanted into what's called a blood sharing demons and people are suffering with what the devil has done through their foundation and today they are suffering the eye that is blood because of what they have been done in the family some people's future have been soiled some people's hand has been soiled and which time you look at yourself anywhere you enter there is a spot that this person is not a good person there's a spot that this sister is not a good sister there's a spot that this brother is not a good brother every time they will spot you for evil and you begin to wonder where they are spotting you for evil and you look at yourself you are such a nice hearted human being but something from your foundation has been trying to blackmail you and bring you down and set you down and cause you to be among the people that are condemned even before time as i'm right now speaking the lord said every foundational problem that is weighing you down in this stage two of prayer i prophesy the lord begin to pull you out the Lord begin to break that covenant. The Lord begin to cut off from every enchantment, divination, incantation, every link that link you to whatever is in your foundation. The Lord begin to cut it off from you. Evil friends that you have kept in the past, people you have come across, some people have had a relationship, intimacy with people that are covenanted in the water and they have deposited evil spirits in you. I prophesy upon your life, whatever deposited in you, or oh yeah, catch fire, break out. Break out! Break out! Break out! Break out! 
I prophesy the spiritual hammer begin to hammer, begin to hammer, begin to hammer, break it out, break it out, break it out. Every enchantment, every leak up in the realm of the spirit, the one that normally come to have one sting or the other to do with you. Blood covenant, I begin to break you out of it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Lord pull you out, the Lord break you out of it, the Lord pull you out of it, the Lord break you out of it. Every one that you have eaten in your mouth, the one you have touched with your hand, the one you have entered into, the one you don't know how you entered into, the one that was manipulated on you, the one that in one way or the other they involved you. I prophesy the Lord begin to pull you, the Lord begin to deliver you, the Lord begin to cut off, the Lord begin to remove from your blood system, from your blood vessel, in your spirit. Let there be detachment in your spirit. Let there be deliverance in your spirit. Let there be detachment. The Lord detach you from whatever I've been done, whatever I've been proposed, whatever I've been covenanted. I prophesy upon you, the Lord arise and begin to shine the light. The spirit of sickness is not your passion. The one that entered in form of a sickness, the Lord begin to deliver you. The Lord begin to set you free. I prophesy upon your life. I prophesy upon your family. Every satanic fire burning on your foundation. Every satanic covenant burning in your family. Every satanic relationship going on in your life. I prophesy with the power of possibility that it is your time to be pulled out. The Lord disconnect you. Disconnect you. Spiritual disconnection. Physical disconnection. Spiritual disconnection. Physical disconnection. Let the Lord disconnect. Whoever is a to you like those people they attach to monitor to follow you about to guide you and look at you and see where you're entering to begin to monitor you whatever you say they know whatever you do they know wherever you go they know whatever method they are using in the mighty name of jesus the lord begin to disconnect you the lord begin to set you free the lord begin to pull you out in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray amen thank you lord jesus thank you for the stage two we are moving to stage two three now listen to what is going to happen in this stage three this stage three has to do with evil people you come across this time around it's not only the foundation stage three of your deliverance now is not only your foundation the stage three of your deliverance is what is called some people that in one way or the other they kept a friend a satanic friend so in one way or the other they went to places where they have been secretly covenanted for evil purpose secretly they have covenanted you you don't know what is buried on the ground this is the one that you go to some places they say oh yeah oh yeah climb there go and sit down there go and wait there say so so thing carry this say so so thing do this do that and then you enter there you say so so things and say many things as they command you to say now in this case it is not your father in this case it's not your mother in this case it's not your family people that put you there in this case you put yourself there and some people say oh yeah but i've never been to such a place before i want to let you know that today as long as the country of africa and country of the world and nigeria and so many places are concerned today you don't have you have people that are it is even now that people are trying to be proud of idol worship some people that were occultic people have changed to begin to put sign by the christ living church some of them will say jesus is lord church some will put something to come a flag and you will think is a place and say oh yeah the name of jesus is there you see a picture ah the picture of christ is there and you come in there you see people wearing good clothes and things like that but you will not know that things has gone underneath you will know that many things have been buried and this is why God has instructed the major prophet of God that I should come with what's called the superpower of the Holy Ghost the power that no man or woman can be able to stop from bringing your deliverance from bringing your liberation the power that is higher and superpower from above to stop the devil before the devil makes any move and then you will not know they will tell you do this they will tell you do that they will tell you do this do that and they bring you to a place where you don't know that secretly you have been covenanted into idol if i must have a covenant in life my covenant must be the covenant of christ the covenant of the word of god 
the covenant of righteousness, holiness, protection, goodness, and mercy, the covenant of favor, the covenant of Abraham, the covenant that the Lord had with Abraham right there. He said, in multiplication, I will multiply you. In blessings, I will bless you. Those that cost you will be cost, and those that bless you will be blessed. I am talking about such covenant, not the covenant that they go and covenant you to idol. Some of you have worshipped Satan, but you don't know. Some of you have bowed to Satan, but you don't know. Some of you have already lied down and surrendered to devil, but you don't know. You don't know what many people are doing in the name of to become one thing or the other, or to become this and that. And that is why when they see people like major prophet of God, they want to attack us and they want to stop us. But our God is unstoppable. Our God is on attackable. Wherever they come from to attack, our God will arise and fight our battle secretly and physically and openly and spiritually and the power will jump power and the lesser power will power. So this stage three is where you must do something about places that your foot have stepped in. And don't forget that anything about where your foot stepped in has been in the Bible and God said wherever the soul of thy feet will step in. I have given it you to possess. The same way Satan is saying, wherever you enter will be counted. And so some of you now are suffering what you are suffering as a result of where you put your leg. Some of you are going through what you are going through today as a result of who you made, your mother, your spiritual mother, your physical mother, your this, your that. Some of these people, God has already opened your eyes and shown you things. But because you lack what is called spiritual understanding, you don't know what is called the light and darkness. And one thing I want you to know is that there's a difference between the light and darkness. Light and darkness does not stay together. And the Bible said the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehend it not because the darkness has nothing to do when the light is shining. And so some of you in the search of the light, you have entered into darkness. And there are so many youth and so many people of this generation that already know that this is darkness and they are entering it. When somebody will say, eh, anything that happened, let it happen. But let me just make it. And you go and involve yourself into evil altar. You put yourself into evil covenant. So that is stage three of the deliverance. And when I'm done with this deliverance tomorrow, and when I'm done with the, the deliverance today, the tomorrow I will continue with another higher dimension of the deliverance that you have never heard in your life. I know many of you have been going to one church or the other, one place of prayer or the other. You visit different men of God and they lay hand on you. After prayer, what is happening to you continues. But this time around, the Lord is bringing a total full stop to everything happening to any of you spirit Spiritually and physically because God is coming in the full force. The Lord is coming in the full force to make sure that this is the end of manipulation because it is a vow that God has made and he said this 2023 all our promises must be activated. Our good health must be activated. Our blessing must be activated. And that is why I'm taking you stage by stage. Anywhere you're falling, the Lord will deliver you there. And so before I enter this stage three, I want you to know that this stage three has to do mainly with the things you did to yourself unknowingly. 